For years, the city of Omaha and the police department has propped up with propped up the police activities for community engagement of, or pace. As a major way, the police as a major way, the police department reaches out into the community. Now it appears the program is under investigation. Three News Now reporter John Kipper tells us what we know. The home of Omaha City Council member Vinny Palermo was searched by the FBI on Tuesday, along with the home of an Omaha police officer and a building the PACE program owns. The FBI confirmed the searches but said they can't say any more. The home of Omaha police officer Johnny Palermo, as well as the Corrigan Multicultural Center, which is owned by PACE, were also searched. PACE, short for Police Activities for Community Engagement, is a nonprofit that's not controlled by the city that provides free youth sports for kids in the Omaha area and is largely run by current and former police officers, aiming to prevent at-risk youth from getting in trouble. Omaha Police Chief Todd Schmader put Officer Johnny Palermo and Officer Daniel Torres on administrative leave on Tuesday as well, saying, I'm concerned that pace may have been used for criminal activity. Heightening my concern is the possibility that a few current and former Omaha police officers may be involved. Mayor Stothert said in the statement, she expects officers that violate public trust to be held accountable and that she is shocked and beyond disappointed. Also saying, until the conclusion of the investigation, all city financial support to PACE is suspended. As for council member Vinny Palermo, he has long advocated for PACE programs and can be seen in this Omaha World Herald photo taken during his home search with a PACE sweatshirt on. John Kipper, 3 News Now.